नमस्कार दोस्तों इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ वी कैन डिलीट द अनवांटेड इंफॉर्मेशन गिवन इन द योर पर्टिकुलर पेज एंड डू सम अदर नेसेसरी सेटिंग्स बिफोर वी बिल्ड द एंड्रॉइड ऐप सो लेट अस सो वी आर बैक टू दिस पेज व्हेन यू साइन इन अगेन यू विल गेट बैक टू योर मेन पेज वेयर यू स्टार्टेड and you can see there are many default fields given on this page which you can delete one by one if you don't want to be displayed these default fields in your android app so select the feed go to details and it will open the page of that particular feed go at the bottom click on delete this module and confirm to delete the feed one by one one by one you can delete all the feeds and suppose in later if you want to add any feed whichever you feel that this feed should be in my android app so you can add later on also because this particular page will remain saved in your account after building also after testing also if you feel that okay i need to change something or i need to add something or sometime it happens that today you have one link which is functional tomorrow you develop another website or any repository which contains the feeds and uh, you want to add so you can add whenever you need to add in later stage also so here uh, all the feeds i have deleted you can see after deleting the feeds we have to see and set the other settings for this particular android application okay so almost i have deleted everything properly and uh, i have deleted because i don't want to be displayed in my app and after this you can add uh, the other module also whenever you like and then move to setting so when you go to setting it will show the page where you can decide what information to be displayed in what way you can display the language in other language also you can open the module suppose you don't want all on read 24 hours so how you are going to be displayed display this is the google analytics which you can take from the google account you can provide the help link if you have developed any html file or any help link for this particular android app so that the users can use it freely so you can give and move to the themes these two themes are default one if you don't want you can disable it also but these are the default one you can add the new theme from here also then you can monetize your android app if you want to display some app on your android app then you can select from here and then you can also you can buy the commercial one for that you need to upgrade and yes we have done it and finally you click on build submit to build so it will take some time it's a few minutes and before that it will send you one email also to your registered email id with this particular website and display the information congratulations your android app has been created you have built libguide successfully please go to your application build tab to download your apk that is the extension of the android app and it will show all the detail so once you have seen this go back again to your page and you will get the download link click on that and it will start downloading the android app wait for some time depending on the speed of your computer it will get downloaded you go to the particular place and open with blue stack that is the free software you can download and install in your computer so the blue stack supports in window operating system you can download it and install it this helps to run any android app in your window operating system 
so once you download and install just install with the help of that just drag and leave your app inside the blue stack so it will install the app and after installing you can you can see here the I'm getting information libguide has been installed at the right bottom and once it is installed then you have to open the blue stack again or if it is already open no need to open again you just go inside the blue stack it, it functions just like your Android smartphone so just click on this so we will see in the next video how we can use this Android application which you have developed